Hey everybody, this is Marios, and you're watching Shane's Craft Beer Review. Let's check it out. Hey everybody, uh, today I'm going to try my very first Greek beer. Uh, thank you so much to uh, my buddy Mario, so you would have seen at the beginning of this video. Uh, Mario is actually one of my uh, my bosses at work. Uh, he's the guy that we all call the cool boss. You know, he's, he's, he's a lot of fun and not super strict, but I mean, still gets the job done, but isn't uh, a big ball buster. Super great guy. Uh, so Mario uh, recently was in Greece and uh, brought me back this beer that he thought I would like. Uh, so this is called uh, Mamos. Um, this is from the uh, Athenian Brewery. This is a pale lager, 5% alcohol by volume. Um, let's just pop it in the glass here really quick. Uh, there's a lot of, as you guys can see, there's a lot of, it's written in Greek and I, you know, I obviously can't read Greek. Uh, Mario's can, but I can't. Um, so, uh, ooh, it's a little dark. As you can see, it's like uh, kind of early evening here. So the lighting's not the best, but hey, you know what? It's okay, still beautiful out. All right, so let's get this in the glass here. We'll read a little description on what the hell this is supposed to be. It's a pale lager uh, from Greece, which is great. I don't think I've ever done a beer from Greece before. So this is, I'm kind of excited about this. Let's get a quick little nose on it here. Malty, lots of malt. Very, very malty. Getting a bit of that sweetness from the malt as well. Touch it up. Smells nice and crisp though. Smells like a nice, crisp, clean beer. All right, so according to uh, the write up on Untap, because I clearly cannot read anything on this can because it's all in Greek, it says uh, clear golden with a small, foamy white head, faint malt aroma. No, that's a strong malt aroma. Uh, high carbonation, mildly bitter, malty taste, thin body, abrupt finish. What the hell does abrupt finish mean? Is, is this going to kill me? I'm going to drink it and I'm just going to die. That would be an abrupt finish, wouldn't it? Hold me closer in. It's getting dark. <coughs> Tell Annie M to let old yeller out. <coughs> but hey, if you're going to go, go out drinking a beer, I guess. All right, so let me top this up just a little teeny bit more here, guys. Let's take a look at this. Holy jeepers creepers. This is clean looking. Look at that. Little shout out to Alan from One Flight Down. Can you see my face? Can you see my face? Um, yeah, that is just a clean, clean looking beer. Look at that. God damn. Nice big thick head on it still. All right, let's just get into it, guys. I'm very excited. Once again, Marios, thank you so much, buddy. Um, I always appreciate it when people go away on vacation and stuff like that and think of me and grab me a beer. Um, it actually means a lot. So, Marios, thank you very much. Cheers to you, sir. Cheers to everybody else. Let's get into it. Oh, okay. That's a little bit different than I was expecting. I'm going to uh, I think I went for one more quick one here, guys, because it kind of it threw me off a little bit. So I gotta, I'm going to drive a little bit more. Okay. The one thing that threw me off is the description said it was a thin body. I wouldn't call this a thin body. It's a lighter body, but it's, I wouldn't call it thin. But it's, you get that, it's kind of a, like a creamy, a uh, creamy mouthfeel to it, which I was not expecting out of a out of a pale lager. It's got kind of a creamy mouthfeel. And then you're getting hit by that malt and then the it's got a little, little bit of a dry finish with the little hoppy dry finish. A little touch of bitterness at the end. It's actually quite nice and it's kind of like kind of throwing me off a little bit. Yeah, it almost tastes, it's got like a creamy kind of finish to it. Or no, I shouldn't say a creamy finish, a creamy kind of mouthfeel to it. It's really weird, but it's good. I said you're getting that nice, that nice, the maltiness is coming through. The hops are coming through. 
the the nice dry dry finish at the end. I could sit and drink these all day. I can I can understand why Marios likes this beer. Um, and apparently this brewery has been around since 1876 as well. So yeah, you know what? On a on a scale of one to five, uh, pale lager, 375. You know I know I rate everything at 375 these days. If you guys go back and watch my last 15, 20 videos, everything's 375. Um, but really, really good. Uh, Marios, thank you so much for picking this up for me, brother. Um, I wish you would have got me more. But that's, no, it's okay. I, I appreciate just the one. Um, but yeah, if you guys get a chance, um, I don't know if you guys get international beers where you're from. I have a hard time getting them up here. Uh, maybe my American friends will have an easier time. If you get a chance, check this out. Pretty, pretty decent. Um, it's probably not a very expensive beer either. But yeah, anyway, guys. Like I said, 375, great little beer. Definitely check it out. And uh, I don't know when this uh, episode is going to air, but I'm pretty sure all by myself, season three, you're almost out of time by the time you see this, probably. But hey, who knows? Maybe I've aired all by myself season three already. I don't know. I never know when I'm going to upload these. But if you haven't done all by myself season three, get on it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Cheers.